yeah welcome back to this vlog this is michael nora and you know i'm walking you guys through okay in this video i'll be walking you guys through how my daily life or my daily routine looks like as a forex trader right right as a forex trader basically i have a very simple routine but this is six this is 6 a.m already i do wake up by 5 a.m right i know you guys might see it my six sometimes i wake up by four but the reason why i wake up that early is because i go very early to bed i sleep around 9 9 p.m right so um i get ready i meditate by 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 five and stuff but i couldn't vlog that right um right now i'm just about to get prepared for my gym session no gym session i run and i lift right so but most times i like doing it in the morning but if i don't have that energy and i feel like i have a lot of things to do during the day i split my my lifting to the evening so but i'm going to be doing both of them today um the next thing i just have to do right now is just to get prepared for the gym and also i'm a swing trader so i don't really see positions in the market like that personally on an average i take at least an average once one trade every week at most two trades every week two trades every week so kind of i know that positions don't come in very easily for me so sometimes i don't bother checking the charts but i'm going to i'm going to check the chart i'm going to show you guys what i'm seeing in the chart and what i'm expecting in the chart for this coming week and this coming um remaining months right so without wasting your time let's get to the other part basically guys basically we are um this is kind of this is kind of um yes yuri um yuri gpy i have few um few watch list but my main pairs are as you know ga and e and and, and um gold but gold has been on some kind of you know rally you know that's this kind of rallies that are kind of that are fundamentally driven so i have nothing on gold for the meantime and gbp aud i what i'm seeing on gbp aud is quite very um it's quite very Mm, kind of confusing. I want GBP AUD to come back to this um, nice area of um, supply here. I was created, you can see it here, on this nice area of supply. Oh, and I like that area so much because if you look very well, you see that price actually took out this low, right? So we are expecting price to come out trading to here, this area. So like, you know, take out this low and take out this low, hopefully to this low. So, um, what I could just see basically right now is um maybe um a retracement back to this area because you can see this area created a high. But if price can actually do this, um, you know, retrace a little bit inward, like yeah, to the sixty to the seventy eight point six retracement. That's price like try and trade into this region here. This region here exactly as you can see here then maybe i could be really interested for a long position but other than that um, i'm not really interested in the pair but this is what i'm seeing currently on the position right so guys the last video i did i showed you guys how i basically lost my account and stuff like that but I got a lot of hits, no, not a lot. I just got one hit comment, one hit comment, and I, um, I got it. the guy was like, with all due respect, if you're watching this video, mm -hmm. I, I really want to know how you trade, and I really hope you make the kind of money you are, like you want to make, right? Because, um, the guy came and was like, with due respect, sir you don't know how to trade because i lost a challenge openly i lost the challenge and i showed you how i lost the challenge so automatically i don't know how to trade and this is why people like you guys get scammed a lot in this industry like really i don't really i don't even like this forex industry you know why because there are lots of negativities here there are lots of lies people are not genuine like this part one of the industry that you don't see 
genuine people we love people just they don't they just want to make money off you if it's a zero-sum game that means like one person has to win for you to lose so you have to lose for someone to win you have to win for someone to lose so something like that if we face that in the forex market we face that even outside the forex market so how will you be seeing it when i come on social media and start posting fake results demo results um actually good i don't experience losses and all these kind of things and you believe me then you come to my community and i charge you everything then you buy my course and at the end of the day you end profitable those are the kind of people that this thing gets caught to i um this is the first time i actually lost a phase one evaluation this is the first time since taking all my prop firm challenges and why because i had a very bad month very bad month and I knew I knew my mistakes, but I had a very bad one. I could not escape that. The only way for me to escape that those losses was to stay away from the market, but I didn't stay away from the market. But you came and was like, I don't know how to trade, right? But I I I I saw that comment as mm, he's probably new in the market. Probably. I would love to see your track record. I would love you to come out and show how you trade. So maybe I could possibly learn from you yeah that's that's what we are drifting we are drifting guys <laughs> so let's leave that aside um basically yeah that's what I'm, this is what i'm expecting on gpp aud a just a very very simple pair um a very very simple pair hopefully it pulled back by london session then we have that pair up here i hope you have your bath before you go to the gym just make sure that you have your bath and you know are you try and like apply some deodorants to I was going to the gym because I I see a lot of people, a lot of people that like they come to the gym and they have this bad smell. Guy, you coming? You're coming to do something that you're going to that is going to be very strenuous. Like you're going to sweat a lot, and that sweat is going to dry your body most of the time because you don't have your bath in the gym. And you can imagine how you would be smelling. So make sure you always have your bath for. Before any workout, you could you could save you could save the soap, yeah, by just doing that. So just make sure you do that. So guys, guess what I am working on today. I am working on my legs today. Mondays are always on my legs because it makes it's 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 just like a psychological something. Mondays are days that you know, you know, you have the most motivation and you get prepared for the rest of the week. You know, you take the most difficult tasks. I take the most difficult tasks on Monday to show and to like show how st strong I am and how prepared I am for the week. Right. That's why I choose mondays or oh, i choose mondays as my i choose mondays as my leg days it's quite very intense i don't like it nobody likes legs i won't lie i don't like training i don't like leg day because they are very they're just like bro why are you just that to say why am i even doing this like why am i doing this but I've been consistent with it for a while, so I'm really used to it. And yeah, I think I'll just get my my boots on. Yeah, just finish getting prepared for my gym. Yeah, I just got prepared. And before I go to the gym, I like taking eating the workout. I'm going to advise you. I'm going to advise you. Try this. Just try it. I know this might look very weird, but Try just eating only white rice. I don't know if you can see it. Only white rice, yeah. Only white rice. And you can put like while boiling it, you can just put like a little a little bit um salt and everything. A lot like enough of energy for your pre-workouts. Try this pre-workout meal and you won't regret it. Yeah, so um mm. <laughs> delicious.
Bro. <laughs> you have to get used to it. If you've not tried it before, you have to get used to it. Boom. This is my pre-workout meal. Most of the time. <laughs> Ignore the pain. Ignore the taste. Just take the benefits. Clear bleed, guys. Finished. guys off to the gym and <laughs> yeah you can see how bright the really looks but normally without no vlogging without no vlogging on anything i usually come here when it's kind of still dark it's like so basically guys yeah this is me i'm supposed to go run yeah, I'm going to run to some cardio before I transition to my leg day. <laughs> uh, yeah, basically. So my life just looks like this. Sometimes I even forget I'm a forex trader because, man, I don't. I spend less time in the chat. I do other things. So yeah, I'm take you guys through my routine. Just go back from the gym, okay? So that was my intentional. Just go back from the gym, and yeah, I prepared lunch. Actually, you see the reason why I like taking oh, what is on my face. See the reason why I like eating pre taking pre workout meals before the gym. I get back very late. I go back by 11 a.m. and now I prepared my meal and still nothing in the chat. Today is Monday. I'm just telling you guys that what I'm just trying to do is have a different life apart from trading like engage yourself in other things with that you'll find solace like and you'll be more profitable other than sitting on the chat every day thinking about the chat they're more alive than that so right i prepared my meal i don't know that you guys can see it yeah as a gym person you should be eating eggs very very well so yeah this is the meal i prepared it i took the rice i prepared the rice the white rice in the morning so the ones that was just remaining i had this veg stew just added it on it and everything so hopefully during the day i don't know if i'm i know i'm not going to say the set up today but i will we'll just get to the chat and we have some little chats about the forex market and also our plans about leveling up um guys sorry this is the next day i actually couldn't vlog or record this that monday morning but actually i spoke about this this trader, we this is the next morning, right? 6 38 a.m. Currently, we are on this trade. This, um, what do you call it? This, um, GBP AUD trade. You can see it's it's already pulling back, but we entered around here. There are stops below here, and have our targets here. It's around 200 pips target. So, price is already pulling back. Normal, we're expecting the pullback by London. Asian session, but we we should be seeing some push. We should be seeing some push via the London session, right? We seeing some push via the London session. Take out this um high. Take out this high, and all these highs, right? So take out all these highs, right now. So guys, basically, so we're in the first trade of the week, and hopefully this plays out well. I am aiming at like, at least a one to. At least a one to four for this year so like a one to four trade that i was gonna aim for right so um basically this is how the trading is 
um this is what i do as i've placed my trades most of the time i'm watching the i'm out of the market so i'll just allow the trade play out and do what i expect it to do and if it doesn't do it we'll move on to the next one um euro um euro jpy interesting pair very interesting pair see as a broken structure we were, but we were expecting something we're expecting the market we're expecting the market we're expecting the market to to pull back down to this area but uh unfortunately it couldn't pull back there i guess let's check whether i even reached the 50 percent Let's check whether it reached the 50% increment. Um, couldn't we reach 50% increment? So hopefully if it pulls back down, then we can enter and you know, ride it up. You can see that price is actually, price is actually, you know, price is actually uh, as broken structure and should be expecting some moves to the upside. So you can simply just, you know, talk this like this, this hood, um this whole demand with this second one so that we can differentiate it then we have our feet from this high to this low then we can take this so we should be accessing price to get to this region before we have a nice what buys the upside so price coming back to this region is what we should be expecting since price has broken um has changed the market structure so to be expecting like this was be expecting on Euro JPY exactly something like this 50 pips then we'll be expecting price to get to this higher region so my schedule still remains I'm about to hit the gym I'm about to you know go for another routine same routine same day um basically this is trying to show you guys um this this video is basically going to show you guys what it actually means to be a forex trader it doesn't mean um being on the chart always it doesn't mean you know you're trying to build discipline you're trying to build um you know um mental 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 strength against the market and you can't do this with coming to the market always and sitting down there stuff like that i know losses will come definitely those will come they're meant to hold but how do you react to them how do you react to them so Basically, that is it. I won't bore you guys. I won't bore you guys. So, GPAUD is currently resting now. Because currently, is pulling back. But maybe later in the day, we have we'll have a massive push to the upside. Kind of extreme position. So, I'm not really for that. I just have this one. So, guys, I will see you guys in the next epi episode of this vlog. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy this content. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.